What's going on guys? This vlog is going to be a bit different than the usual sort because today I'm going to walk you through my five studying tips on how to be more time effective and how to study better and be more focused. Yet yeah, some of you might know that I'm not the best student, I don't go to every single lecture, I don't do every single homework, but I believe I am a very time effective and a relatively good student and I do have some tips that might help you, so let's get to it. My first tip on studying is to break up your studying into smaller parts. What I mean by that is either divide it by time and go study 45 minutes of studying and 10 studying and 15 minutes of having a break and not thinking about studying. That's one way to do it. I sometimes use that kind of method or I combine it with actually setting my goals and just giving myself some some time or some some section that I need to study. For example, I just take a chapter, I go through a chapter, then I take a 15 minute break, then I take another chapter and so on and so on. And therefore I have a break and then I can concentrate and it kind of helps me motivate myself into studying and also it's scientifically, scientifically backed up because you cannot focus all the time and you need to give your brain some time to relax. Second tip, which is the most common tip you'll hear everywhere around, is turn off your electronic devices. If you're studying on your computer, turn off Facebook, turn off all social media, there are tons of apps that will just block all those sites. And if you're studying from the box, just sit away from all the electronic devices, turn off music, or turn on music if you're a music person, but I just prefer having prefer having a nice and quiet environment and just you know put your telephone aside because if it just you know flashes you're gonna be tempted to take it and play around with it and you know just checking one message is never gonna be one message. Coming in with that is my third tip and that is finding a nice comfy spot. You know if you're not good at studying in busy areas don't go sit in the cafeteria. If you're not good at studying on the move do not study in a bus and you know, just find your spot. For me, it's uh, usually my bedroom where there's nobody in. Uh, it's just quiet and I feel that this is my little bubble, my, my shell, and I just sit down and study, get the work done, and hopefully nobody, you know, intrudes into my bubble. Fourth tip, which might be a bit weird, is don't eat too much because, you know, you might have those 45 minutes, then you go for a 15 minute break, and you just go for a snack and then suddenly the snack turns into a full menu and then you just get all lethargic of all the fats you've eaten and you're just gonna wanna go and take a nap which results in <laughs> two hours of taking a nap and not actually feeling more rested because you just are lethargic and uh, that's not gonna benefit your studying. When you're gonna be eating, try to focus on more carbs because carbs are better for your brains compared to fats uh, but you know, that's just... That's just me talking, my, my fitness talking. Also, what I do with food is that I use food as a motivation. And uh, that, that being is that I, uh, whenever I get hungry, I just tell myself that I'll study this one chapter. And after studying that one chapter, I'll go and have a bite of something that I'm craving. Because if I just start eating that, I will have the dose of endorphins and I won't care about studying anymore because let's face it, studying is not always enjoyable. So just give yourself some motivations and some, uh, some rewards really. Which really is my fifth tip and that is reward yourself because as I said, studying is gonna get boring, studying is gonna get long and you're not gonna enjoy it after a certain period of time. So you're just gonna want to do something more enjoyable whether it's just running around vlogging or just hanging around on social media with your friends. So instead of doing that, just uh, give yourself a reward. So as I said, split up your 45 minutes of studying and then give, reward yourself with 15 minutes of uh, browsing social media or replying or just eating something that's really, really good, a cake or two. That's all from me guys. Those are my five tips on how to study more efficiently. I hope you've learned something. If you haven't, I'm sorry for wasting your time. If you did, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for more on thoughts, on uni life and all that. And uh, I guess good luck on your exams and see you in the next vlog.